Hey people, I'm happy to be here with you again. That's long, long time no see. I, I was, uh, yeah, I was not regular on that one, but I believe that uh, that was for a good reason because I really feel shit uh, on the process of uh, being a solo maker for the last, I don't know, six months, something like that. So I'm back in Europe. I left Bali. And when I left Bali, I left it at the, at the hard moment. I have like burned all my savings, uh, enjoying Bali like a king. And on the way back, there was like a, a shit show, I think. Like going back to, to Europe was complex. We did a stop in India, was an amazing experience, but it's also a very hard one for many reasons, like being in India, which is a quite of a shock for an European person, seeing like so many rich and poor so near, like living together. That's very, very interesting and rich place and like not like poor place and like in between each other, like we went to Taj Mahal and that was the worst crazy things like you see the Taj Mahal is the beautiful things and around it is like a shit show and you're like wow and that's very intense so for my European brain that was that was very hard and also feeling like there are no place where you can feel like I mean I did, it was very hard for me as an European person to be in India and to feel like uh, calm because everything is like moving everywhere all the time and I was like <gasps> Can I breathe? Can I have time where my brain is not like solicited by outside world? So yeah, that was very hard. That's very fun to ring in my glasses. So yeah, that, 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 that was pretty hard. And then I went back in Europe, I arrived, I didn't have money. I asked, I asked to ask friend or mom to get help. So that was um, not a proud moment, I would say. It. But I finished by reaching back in Madeira, which is my safe place in Europe. I really like this island a lot. There are many people there I liked, many nomads, many entrepreneurs. I enjoy many friends. So I arrived there uh, with Anna and we started to feel better. I started to get a freelancer job for a bit, who helped me a lot. It was like so nice paid like i could pay back my mom and everyone who helped me in a month pay all my debt very fast and it was a uh, kick uh, kick.com which is a streaming platform uh, very nice experience even that was very complex in terms of tech stack because like they are growing so fast and they, they, they have to trash a lot of things and renew a lot of things and Many mistakes go, did on the way because, of course, you, you grow super faster. You cannot do everything perfect. It was nice experience to see from outside. And one interesting point is the I did manage to help them transition from the mobile app, which was made in React Native, to Capacitor. So they start to be able to use the website they use, the code they use, they have already to have everything like... Uh, in one place or less uh, for the size of the team, it was better. And they also switched to use Capgo, which become like uh, in August, one of my biggest client basically. And that brought me so many problems. Like since August, like my, my quality of life. In fact, when I start to work at Kik, my quality of life went down because like they work night and day all the time. There was like, the expectation in this context are so high. This is insane. And even I feel I'm very good at my work. And many people have told me that I felt very shitty. I was doing a shitty job. But uh, yeah, that's at one point I stopped. And they still use Capgo as a, as a tool. And that's make them the biggest client I ever had. But then the biggest problem I ever had with Capgo, like I, I had so many down times, things not working and still things not working right now. All the statistic part are not working properly. 
I, I remove them from Superbase. Superbase is amazing, but has a limit of like uh, handling things. After that, they start to struggle a lot. And that's not their fault. It's just like the usage of kick. It's insane. It's like 33,000 requests by seconds. So then makes a lot of things like cost a lot or been down, basically. So I've managed to, after a lot of struggle, switch the statistic to ClickHouse. And now I have like the statistic are not like making the product down just by ing uh, ingesting it, them. But right now I have a problem to read the statistic and make them look nice. Basically, I cannot share any, no one. Like, I don't know. Right now, automatically, it's very hard for me to know what's the usage of my clients. So they pay and they upgrade basically because they are very nice, but not because it's needed by the product. So that's very annoying and, and painful. And in the same time of that, like everything that happened, I was very like determined when I arrived in Madeira to buy my house because three years I'm trying to buy a house here and here, what you see behind, this is my house. I bought it. Finally, and that was shit short as well. Like, because like you have to have money, and it's more money than expected because the loan in Portugal are complex and everything. So, I think lately my journey was like intense, hard. So that that's why basically I felt like sharing that. At first, I feel shame by be able to share that, and also I didn't have time to even reflect and look at that. I was just like. Five files are everywhere. Like, oh, file here, file in my relationship because everything is fucked up in my life. So then I fucked up my relationship with my future wife who all at one point become maybe a stranger. Like it could be, it could be that, you know, I, I have like uh, at one point tell her like I cannot handle everything. And I think like if I have to choose something, it's us to stop. And I was very sad to say that, but I don't have, I felt I didn't have any other alternative. But uh, she's still here because she's a fighter as well. And she did. If you cannot fight for us, I will fight for us. That was beautiful. I was like, whoa. You know, like a Superman, but a woman. <laughs> as a woman. So um, that was great. That was great. And, and these all things make me learn a lot and reflect a lot. I think right now... Also, something, yeah, yeah, I have to talk about that. I, when I was working for Kik, I felt so overwhelmed by Kik work. I couldn't do things in Capgo anymore. So I, I look again into Algora, which is a platform allow to put open source tasks to do for the community and pay people. So I've started to, to share about that again. And magic happened. Like few people came to help and now are helping. And that's beautiful. Like that has saved my fucking ass. I, I'm so thankful for these people I paying who help Capgo and are very dedicated to help. Like they are really trying. Even there are things not working. I'm not responsive as I should or not doing the things as I should. They really try and feel they own a part of Capgo as well, part of the story. So that's that's, I am so thankful for that and I'm really trying to care about them as much as I can because sometimes I didn't have even time or, or bandwidth like I can care about them and pay them on time like to pay them on time is just like review they, they work and just merge it when they I got merged they got paid but if I don't have time to review things because everything is burning then they don't get paid and that was a bit painful and I'm very sorry for that couldn't have even the energy for doing that. And lately I, I, I like I was not five hurting five hurting anymore, but then I felt I was burned out. I couldn't work on Capgo. You know, when I got the house, I was just like doing decoration. As you can see, this is pretty yeah, I, I turn the computer, it doesn't work. I have to turn the phone here. Yeah, you can see there are nice decoration everywhere. This is just here at the office room. And I have decorated everywhere with my wife. I spent a lot of money doing that. 
make me low in money again. It seems I enjoyed that, but I, I was really feeling I need to have a place. I feel home and I feel nice there. So I did that instead of focusing on Capgo and focusing on work. I could have done some other project with Mark. He invited me to work with him. I got other people who wanted to work with me to try a project, but that was, yeah, that was not something I could do at the time. And now I'm just like starting back this podcast. <coughs> it's very important for me and I want to invite new makers to meet them and exchange with them. But yeah, lately that was, that was pretty intense <coughs> to be able to, to do all these things. <laughs> oh, it's just 11 minutes. That's interesting. I thought it would be way longer. So right now, you share what is my mind. First, I want to finish the statistic work in Capgo and be able to bill people correctly because right now I cannot bill anyone correctly. And that scared me. Like, uh, I, I really feel I could lose all my clients. They could stop paying and I will not see the difference. So that, that's the main priority. Then the second priority is to take all the work the, the people in the community have made who get paid for it because now what I did for them is to merge the work in development branch to let them be paid and see after when I merge in production. So the point is to review the work and integrate it. Like one big feature was asked by the users is the ability to have like an organization into Capgo and add people to Capgo. So that's, that's the main things I want to achieve. And I would like to do that before and, uh, of the year was supposed to arrive this summer, but yeah, I got burned. And, and yeah, after that, I would like to, to create more new things. I have also sold one of my projects. I've sold cap time to one of my friends because I was struggling uh, with money to pay the, um, the flat and everything. So I thought like I should sell it and I got some offer on online and someone wanted to buy. And then my friend said, no, sell it to me play, uh, instead for the same price. So that was better to sell to a friend who helped him. So let's see how things are going for him. And maybe I will put him back at one point. I don't know if he cannot work on that much because right now I don't feel he can, he, he's taking care of it. But yeah, that's, uh, that's the thing. And <laughs> I didn't do this exercise in so long. I don't know what, what to tell you about me. I feel like, in a way, this is so boring, like, uh, you know, like problem or boring sometimes. I don't feel think so, but that's my feeling right now. I feel my life has been very boring and very sad and many shits, things happen. But I think, I think I am on a good path back again. I would like to have time to analyze my statistic on Capgo, improve the SEO, improve things because I'm growing in a way like I don't understand yet. I would like to do more uh, programmatic SEO, but that's not really easy. Like uh, there are many code tasks I have to do right now. I also like the support, uh, I'm supporting the users and I, I'm trying to also reduce that. Lately also something I've did because of Kik uh, as a client, I had so much to pay, like uh, last year, last month, I think last two months, I paid 4,000 by month just by like server and stuff. So they brought a lot of cash, but also a lot of cost. And uh, honestly, the, um, that happened because I was not managing well. I, I was having duplicate things like in Cloudflare and then in Superbase. So right now I have this also to take care of, like I will put everything in Cloudflare, the deployment of the function will be only in Cloudflare, so that will uh, reduce my cost. And then, uh, then we see. But yeah, globally, I, I have to optimize my cost. I have to fix the problem into Capgo, so it's mainly statistic and, and billing were broken. I have also one problem into the end to end encryption, which is a bit uh, critical, but yeah, at, at least um, at least nothing bad happened for it for now. 
He, he can be bad if I got hacked. And that will that will be problematic. But right now, it, this is okay, I think. And um, and yeah, then I would like to create new project. I will, since very long, I have to in plan to do a mobile app like a template, a bit like Mark did with Shipfast, but for mobile app. Uh, and he invited me to do that with him, so I think we should do that. That could be great. And I really enjoy to work with him. So let's see uh, what we can do. And I hope you enjoyed this episode. I was, uh, <laughs> I'm not sure that's the best one, uh, honestly. But um, if you enjoy, please share with me because that's very important for me to understand what you enjoy about my sharings. And um, I hope next time you will be with a guest. I'm looking for guests from the indie makers uh, community. And see you next time. Bye bye.